Good morning, <clears throat> good afternoon, good evening, whenever you have tuned in to watch. This is Lighty Collects coming at you with a new video. <clears throat> and like yesterday, we gave some praise out to um, Hattons of London for their um, customer services and, um, you know, aftercare and all that kind of stuff. I feel only fair to do the same when it's a negative. Now, this, as you can already see, is a coin that was sent to me that has been purchased direct from the Royal Mint. Um, and you'll see that it is the uh, five pound that was bought out for the Lionesses, who have just finished runners up in the World Cup out in, God, where was it? Australia and New Zealand. Um, so, what is the issue with this coin? When I flip this over, <laughs> you'll also you'll automatically understand um, where this has come from as well. Filthy pube hair. Right, let's zoom in and have a look. Now, can we see that? I can just about make that out. I hope you can. But what we're going to do, we're going to open up the packaging and we're going to have a look at it to see um, just how bad this is. Well, I'm trying to get it out. And here we are with the coin itself. So let us zoom right in and hopefully, oh, there we go, that focuses. You can see that as clear as anything. Um, it's not on the casing, it is actually inside this plastic casing here. And you can see it starting up here, looping round and finishing there. And I know that Lou has put on their filthy pube hair. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's something like an eyebrow hair or something like that. But how has that been allowed to pass customer care? Quality control. You know, it, it's so blatant. You can see it as clear as anything. And I just, I don't know, for me personally, I feel that the Royal Mint's quality control has gone downhill drastically um, since lockdown. Um, now I understand totally during lockdown that there were so many delays and everything else. Um, so I kind of accepted one or two sort of errors or, or whatever you want to call them. Um, bad coins getting out. But, you know, this is just not good enough. Um, there's no excuse for it now. You know, I, th I just think it's... <sighs> when, when you look at, like, yesterday's video where I did the um, Hattons of London, the customer quality of customer care from them now, not just with them sending me a replacement box without asking for one, but from everything, from the moment I ordered it, you are kept up to date with emails, constantly telling you what's going on. Um, th th once the coin had been received, I then got a follow-up email, um, let us know how we've done, you know, can we improve anything, are you happy with everything? And, I, okay, I guess some might argue, well, you were purchasing a gold coin then. Which I guess would be a fair argument. But this is the Royal Mint. You know? It, it's not a, a change checker or a... Uh, a coin club, a pop joy, it's the Royal Mint. Now when I order something from the Royal Mint, I expect that to be absolutely perfect quality. I don't expect to have any problems with it. You know, I expect it to arrive promptly or to be kept informed 
and I expect to when I open it I expect to have that in great quality and and this just falls so so far short and it's a shame because it, it was a really it's quite a landmark um, release you know for the lionesses you know and, and normally I would open all it out and I'd give you all of the information on it but really is there any point because it is just totally ruined um, by the, the, the state of the coin no matter how much the packaging looks nice and you know there's nice information blah 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 um, all of this it's ruined by the coin and let's be honest that's the reason that we buy them you know we don't buy them because they come in nice packaging although we may buy them in the packaging because it makes it look nicer or whatever you know but the sole purpose of us purchasing the coin is because we want the coin and we want it to be in good condition now the only way to solve this would be to break open the coin out of its plastic protection remove the hair whatever it is and place it back in there without damaging anything now I'm not a hundred percent confident that I could do that you know I, I'm not <laughs> I'm not the most um, nimble handed person but I just, I don't know, again, you know, like I say, I'm just absolutely dumbfounded that these sort of things are getting through. And I understand, you know, I've seen other people's coins that are damaged or, and not necessarily this particular one, um, that have got scratches on. And I just, it astounds me how the Royal Mint can be allowed to get away with it time and time and time again. Now, no doubt, I'll probably get an email from them and say, well, if you return it to us, we'll replace it. I don't want to bloody return it. I want the coin. Do you know what I mean? All right, I haven't personally paid for this one. Lou paid for it. and But she's now had to go out and buy a replacement. You know, it's just, it's really not on, um, in my opinion. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if they've taken on new people in the quality control or, or what it is. But they just need to really, really have a look at themselves and what they're producing and what they're sending out to customers. Because it just isn't good enough. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Love and respect and I'll catch you soon.